Hey guys, this is Gilbert, the creator of Bon, uh, this Bon CMS. And what I'm going to do today is just very quickly show you how to get Bon up and running on your local computer. So first things first, we need to download Bon. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. Now there's a few different ways we can install Bon. It relies very heavily on Composer. So you can use a Composer Create project, or you could even just clone the Git repository. But for the sake of simplicity today, we're just actually going to download um, the latest version of Bon itself. So uh, we're just going to go to GitHub here, find the latest release, download the source code. And um, I'll just do this quickly and extract the folder just on my desktop. So here we have, this is going to be our Bon installation at the moment. Now at the moment nothing's happening with it. Uh, the first thing we should really probably do is set up a new um, virtual host for it in Apache. Now I have MAMP uh, installed on my computer here so I'm just going to load up MAMP. MAMP's great for uh, running uh, websites on your local computer and um, the first screen we'll come to, as you can see, is this host screens. It's, you get this with MAMP Pro, you do have to pay for it, but it makes it much easier to set up the, the virtual hosts that you need for, um, which we need in this case for Bonds. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a new host, and we're just going to call it mysite.dev. And then we're just going to go ahead and point that to our Bon folder which is on our desktop and the reason we're doing this is because we want to point it to our public folder and not the root folder and this is just the way the, the structure of the site is set up. It also helps with security and yeah it's just a good thing to do so we're just going to hit choose here and that's it. Um, that's our new site set up so we're just going to let MAMP restart itself Give it a second until it kicks back in and that should be us. So hopefully now if I go to mysite.dev and yeah so just what's just to explain what's happening here is that Bond's running through its auto install process so the very first time you run Bond um, it will actually try to install the composer packages that it needs automatically um, and that means that if you don't have SSH access to your server somewhere, you should be able to do this um, and it'll do it all for you and you don't have to run any command line yourself. So if we, so now that it's finished, click let's go and we see our Bond site. And that's it. Simple as that. Easy, easy peasy to get Bond up and running. Um, so yeah, have fun.